Hey everybody, this is Adam Kokesh here at Freedom Farm in Arizona, and I just got a very exciting email from none other than Governor Weld. It reads, I have recently had the opportunity to spend time in discussions with Adam Kokesh, who is a Libertarian Party candidate for the U.S. Senate in Arizona this year. Adam is a combat veteran of the U.S. Marine Corps, who has spent over a decade in a tireless effort to expose overreaches of government power through social media, his YouTube channel has over 60 million views, through acts of civil disobedience, video footage appears to show that he was thrown to the ground by police and placed in a chokehold for no apparent reason other than dancing near a government monument, and through his writings. Now this next part, this is, this is I mean, more than anything else, this is the exciting part. And this is something that I knew from before, and, and as, as he points out, from the conversations we've had, I've had some people try to say, oh, yeah, I, I read your book, when, when, when they haven't really. The conversations that I've had with, with Governor Weld have shown that it, not only has he actually read my book, Freedom, but that he has really taken the time to appreciate and understand it. I read Adam Kokish's book, Freedom, which I found to be a well-written statement of many of the principles of libertarian thought. I endorse Adam in his run for the U.S. Senate in Arizona on the libertarian ticket and encourage others to support him by either making a contribution or volunteering for his campaign at kokeshforsenate.com. So, oh, respectfully, Bill Weld. So this is, uh, I mean, this is really exciting for a lot of reasons, but just a few highlights that I want to touch on here in this video. First, I am absolutely grateful for this endorsement, and it, it means a lot coming from... Uh, Governor Weld, uh, because he has really taken the time to understand the message and to be a, a better libertarian. The Bill Weld of just 2018 is a world different from the Bill Weld of 2016, representing the Libertarian Party as our vice presidential nominee. I have gone in uh, the first half of this year to as many libertarian state conventions as was logistically possible, and it was uh, uh, at first a little little challenging, but then it, it became a pleasant surprise to see that Governor Weld uh, has been going uh, was was at most of the conventions that I was at in Texas. He even came to my lecture about localization, that is, taking government apart from the top down, restoring power to communities and individuals. And, you know, not just sitting through it, but listening and engaged and really taking the time to understand the message. And I was just, you know, I was really, you know, I was, I was blown away by that. And what he has shown in terms of his understanding uh, of the message since then is, uh, you know, really speaks to his open-mindedness and his desire to become more philosophically consistent, to understand the message of libertarianism, and to better, uh, just be a better libertarian. And what this tells me that's so exciting, and, and one of the things that, that really has been encouraging for me in this last uh, six-month tour going to all the state conventions, is to see that the Libertarian P Party not only has the power to bring people together, uh, to unite people in a common purpose, to uh, you know, in a, in, a, in a entirely voluntary way, allow us to collectivize our efforts to bring about a free society. But it also has the power to make all of us better libertarians, and to see that happening, and to be a part of that on so many levels. And it's not just understanding the message in in a political sense, uh, or even a philosophical sense. But in uh, you know a deeper personal sense that I think we can all strive to embody in understanding the message of freedom. So thank you very much, Governor Weld, and thank you all for watching this video. Mwah. Peace, love, and freedom from the greatest state in the union, Arizona.